Adam Fletcher Brown here with another artist video blog at Kix96Country.com. Now we have a lot of artists that come through who are at the start of their careers and they're hoping to uh, make their mark in country music as it were. But uh, today we actually have someone who has made a mark in country music and is continuing today to make new marks in country music. Please welcome to Kix Country, Miss Deborah Allen. How are you? Thank you, Fletcher. Now we've got Deborah Allen here, who Grammy nominated songwriter, vocalist, Deborah Allen, who's got a brand new album, a brand new single, and who's been doing so many amazing things uh, over the last few years. But we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Deborah Allen. Um, as I understand it, now you have a connection to Sun Records that is very important to us here at Bigger Broadcasting because we have a very strong connection to Sun Records. Right. Your career began in the hands of one Roy Orbison, is that correct? Yeah, actually, uh, well, I was born and raised in Memphis, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you're familiar, you probably are, with George Klein down in Memphis. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. He's a really good friend of mine and actually kind of discovered me. He gave me my first start in Memphis as a WHV cutie, so that was pretty fun. Then I moved to Nashville to start pursuing my uh, career as a recording artist, and, uh, you know, you don't always have the luck of just jumping right in and, and falling right into it, so... For a short period of time, I was a waitress, not a very good waitress, but I was a waitress at the IHOP, and, um, and it was kind of the IHOP that a lot of music people hung out in. Well, like I said, I wasn't really that good of a waitress, so after I quit working there, I still hung out there, though, because I liked the food, I liked the people, and I was sitting there one day, and I looked across the way, and I saw this guy with real black hair and sunshades on, and the guy was kind of salt and pepper. Here. And remember now, I was 18, so don't hold this against me. Okay? But I was sitting there and I was like, I know those people are in the music business. I know they are. So I go walking over there, and don't ask me why I did this, but I go, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, are y'all in the insurance business? <laughs> and they go, no, darling, we're in the music business. And I slide in real quick, and I'm like, that's what I was thinking. Listen, I'm a singer, and I'm trying to get started. So they were just so sweet. They gave me a lot of great advice, and, you know, I was then I realized who I was sitting in the company of, which was Roy Orbison and Joe Nelson, and oh uh, my gosh. So anyway, actually two weeks later I got a phone call and they hired me to sing on a couple of Roy Orbison tracks, so that was pretty cool. So your career began uh, for officially for you there, mm -hmm. um, in the arms of one of the most amazing you know, musicians who's ever walked, you know, mm -hmm. uh, who also got his start in Memphis at some record, yep. uh, and that led you uh, you had early success with a song called Baby I Like. Yes. That was Grammy nominated. You, you were a Grammy nominated vocalist and a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, tell us about that. I mean, when when you were sitting there at the Grammys and going, was like, man, I'm nominated for a Grammy. Did you ever believe when you sat at that table with Roy Orbison that you would ever be nominated for a Grammy? To be honest with you, at age 18, I might not have even known what the Grammys were. All I knew was that I wanted to sing, you know. But uh, when I was nominated for a Grammy and I was out in L.A., uh, to be, you know, there to receive everything. It was just great. And, uh, you know, I'll never forget that. It was like uh, when they called my name and I go walking up, I sit back down in my seat and Conway Twitty was in front of me and he was like, he looked at me and was like, so, you know, it was just really a lot of fun. No, I never really dreamed it, but it was just so great, you know, when it happened. And you continued on, you stayed in Nashville, you continued on, you continued to write songs, you continued to sing songs, and here you are now, you're producing, you're doing all kinds of amazing things, you, 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 your name appears on so many hit songs, I'm not even going to start, I'm not even going to start a list, <laughs> alright, you just want to wiki her, and you will, you'll understand, okay, uh, but you've got a new album now, it's 2011, yeah. Deborah Allen's got a brand new album called Hear Me Now, yes. and the single is uh, Anything Other Than Love? Yeah, the single's a song called Anything Other Than Love, which I wrote with a great friend of mine, his name's Gary Burr. He, and he's been being my songwriter of the year at one point. He's written, you know, many, many million airplay songs. And, uh, I mean, he's that worked with Ringo Starr and with uh, Carol King and just great people. Basically people that I love and I love. That's all. Well, me too. <laughs> but, uh, so we, Gary and I were going to write one day. And um, so I was kind of like to get prepared before I go show up for a writing appointment. And I was sitting around just playing the guitar, kind of just kind of feeling what was in the universe that day, you know. And the phone rings, and it's my stepdaughter, Hillary. And um, she says, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm just kind of trying to think about what I'm going to write today. What do you think I ought to write about? And she says, well, you write a lot of songs about love. I think you ought to write one about anything other than love. And I went, oh, that's it. So I told 
Gary about that. And I said, What's, we ought to write that literally. So we did. And of course, writing with Gary is just so much fun. Do you give Hillary a credit? <laughs> she gets the fringe bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to step out of the way and I want okay. you to play that. And uh, you give us a little bit of your single if you want, or you can give us any other Deborah Allen tune. Okay. Or just give us a whatever you want. You're Deborah Allen. I'm gonna get out of the way. <laughs> She's got a beautiful guitar here. Thank you. I'm gonna let you play it. Deborah Allen on K96Country.com. Thank you so much. Well, uh, on my album, I'm really excited about. It. I'm super excited about the single. Uh, Anything other than love, the one that we were just talking about. And I'm also very, very, very excited about um, a song called Amazing Graceland because I'm originally from Memphis. And uh, actually, my parents were uh, had an automobile upholstery shop there, and and Elvis's people found out that um, that my parents were really good at that, and they wanted him to upholster his first bus. So um, I don't know. He was always in our midst, and in fact, uh, the Memphis Mafia just kept hanging around, and so my daddy had to pull the bus out, and he brought it out to the house. So we camped out in the bus, my sister and I. We thought we were so cool. But uh, a couple of Christmases ago, I wound up actually getting to perform at Graceland. And so it inspired this song called Amazing Graceland, which I'm not going to play for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to see that, y'all just got to visit my website. It's uh, www.deborahallen.com. And there's a video of me singing that song on the piano, because that's really where I wrote it was on the piano. When I got home, I was just still so inspired from being at Graceland. I had to write that. And I'm so excited because George Klein is actually inviting me to come and sing it at the Memphis Mafia reunion this year during Elvis Week on uh, August 14th. So I'm super excited about that. But there's another song on my album that just I've always loved so much. And I thought maybe that's one that I would do for you now. Still taste his kiss Warm on my lips Feel the fire in his touch And the love that I miss Hear those three little words Each time he said goodbye It's like he always There's a last time for everything A tomorrow that never comes A moment you never dreamed Could leave so many dreams undone One thing in life is certain It's not as certain as it seems there's blue sky above you Take the time to say I love you Cause there's a last time for everything The days we are given Are precious and few Savor each sunrise Whatever you do don't let the sun set on the slightest regret Make beautiful memories and never forget There's a last time for everything A tomorrow that never comes a moment you never dreamed Could leave so many dreams undone One thing in life is certain It's not as certain as it seems So while there's blue sky above you Take the time to say I love you Cause there's a last time
for everything.